So let's start. Yeah. So this talk is called Full Stack Developers, Myth or Reality? And apparently it's by me. OK, so let's start our short lightning talk. But before we get started, I'd like to say a few words about me if you don't have a chance to talk to me like before or you, like you don't know me at all. So I'm the JavaScript developer who apparently loves uh, JavaScript language. And the funny thing is that we have this JavaScript, JavaScript -y talk at the CSS conference. So that's why, you, as you can see, we have all these texts like properly aligned. Um, so also, I'm a local community driver, organizer of these front end community communities such as FrontSpot, BeerJS, and WebNotBombs. And if you don't have these stickers, just contact me later on. I'll give you some. And also, if you want to like take uh, like some time and talk about something or just whatever, you can find me at any social media at Paul uh, Dash Ifnoj. Okay, so let's start. Really, who is this full stack developers? Okay, this is quite simple question. Just raise your hand if you think that you are really full stack developer. Okay, one, two, three. Seven, great, all right. But actually, I'm not quite sure that you're full stack developer at all. Yeah, that's the point of the, this lightning talk. Why I'm thinking that? Because nowadays, it is quite uh, an opinion that once you know JavaScript, you can apply these JavaScripty things on front end and back end as well. And now we are really full stack developer. So, whoopsie. Okay. It happens. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yep. That's not the real full stack development. Because once you deep dive into this full stack development world, you can find that it's kind of like complicated things. Uh, whoopsie daisy. Yeah. And actually, full stack, uh, uh, full stack development is something like that. Really, it's not about JavaScript, and it's not about like one framework or one language or, or one library. It's like really complicated mess of overhyped or some old school stuff, and it's really crazy. And by the way, I'm, I just want to say that it's not the full stack development at all. Yeah. Because once you're a full stack developer, you have to know more. You have to be like a better version of yourself, a better version of the developer. So really, so you want to be a real full stack developer. So what does it mean, right? So all of us want to be like someday really full stack development guy. OK, so first of all, you should know what your coworkers do. I mean, like every day you communicate with design team, with uh, quality assurance team, with DevOps. And you have to know, you have to know at least the basics of their work. You, you have to understand their process, their trends, and whatsoever. Because it's really important to understand just to work in a team because it is crucial thing. Also, you don't, you don't forget about your general IT awareness. And what does it mean? You have to understand the basics of mobile development. And actually, with JavaScript, you can do some mobile things, right? Also, I'd rather recommend you to look at the Internet of Things world, blockchain, augmented reality, mixed reality, virtual reality, even artificial intelligence. It's also cool stuff, and you have to broaden your knowledge every day. Also, you have to understand the business basics. What do I mean by that? Market trends. You have to know what is the real situation of the market. You have to know, once you want to start a startup, how it can be done, what process it, you might follow, what roles you might expect from your, uh, from your colleagues, from your customer, from your clients, and whatsoever. Also, you have to improve your communication skills. Really, at work and online and offline as well. You should uh, attend 
and also speak at meetups and conferences. It's really crucial thing to, for a developer, no matter what, like your front-end developer, back-end developer, or even like full-stack developer. It's a crucial thing. Also, you'd better teach others to code or just share your knowledge by whatever you can, like by workshops, or by some volunteering activity, or even you can start a YouTube channel and share th the knowledge, spread the world across the world, just if you think that you can uh, actually share what you've got. The other thing is that you have to spend some time on time management. And, and what I mean there is that you'd better have your short and long-term goals. You have your to-do lists, priority lists. Like it's easy to start your day without any of them. But by the end of the day, you will understand that you just like ruined the whole day because you've been watching like YouTube cat videos or just browsing the internet and actually you're not achieving your goal. You're not achieving your like future plans. It's a really great thing also. And be bilingual. And what I mean by that is it's okay once you like know your native language. But also you have to learn other languages. For example, English, French, Spanish, whatever language. And you can do it not uh, with simple, like boring and old school techniques like some grammar lessons with like tutor and whatsoever. Just watch movies, watch TV series in original, listen podcasts or music, whatsoever. Just let your brain think in another way, in another language, and it will dramatically increase your skills as well. And also you have to bear in mind your health in mind because the ways you cooperate with your stress level with this magic eight hours sleep, yeah, I know there are some people who can actually sleep eight hours, yeah, they exist. Uh, the way you prevent burnouts, you do some sport activities, that you have some regular vacations, that's the cool stuff, that's the cool stuff which will help you which will help you to be better version of yourself and actually you will do more like once you're fully like rebooted fully recharged so to say and that's the definition of the real full stack developer and that's my opinion i hope that you guys can like share your opinions whatsoever and just please be that developer and enjoy CSS Minsk JS and thank you very much. You're great. Thanks.